Hello everybody, my name is Javier Vargas. Um, see that picture there, you can laugh if you want. All right, alcoholic, clubaholic, womanaholic. Okay, I know that's not the correct term, but you get the point. God saved and delivered me from a reckless life of partying. Okay, look at that. I was the guy with my pants down low, the extra medium bedazzled t-shirt, and my sunglasses on at night. Yeah. So, party. I was just a reckless party. Okay, I had no purpose in life. Just you know, drinking every day, going to work, sometimes hungover, still drunk, and sometimes not showing up at all. Now, in the middle of all that, I had a family to raise, I had a family to take care of. But. Um, you know, I knew how to post the right pictures on, on MySpace. This is before Facebook. So, I would post these pictures of me and my little girl, and I would say all the right things. You know, this is, this, this is the reason why I get up every morning. You know, she, she's the reason why I do what I do. I do anything for her. But yeah, I couldn't even stay home with her. And the funny thing is, is I would go out at night, and all these girls would go, oh, they come up, and they're like, you're such a great dad. And I just want to use this opportunity to tell you that these bars and these nightclubs are just filled with lies filled with lies, okay? Now, I wasn't your normal 18-year-old kid, you know, trying to find somebody to buy him a beer or uh, sneak him in the club. My older brother was a professional boxer, he was a world champion, and because of his money, there was plenty of alcohol. And because of his fame from Atlantic City to Las Vegas, there was plenty of women. And I'm not trying to sound cool, I'm not bragging about my sin, that life will consume you. And for the next 10 years of my life, I was trapped, okay? My partying would cost me my family. I, I, I just continued to hurt this young girl over and over again. And all she wanted from me was to grow up, stop drinking, and stay home. Couldn't do that. I eventually partied my way into jail. Now, I only did two days. I'm not trying to act like I did a hard time. Okay? But I was there long enough to know that I don't ever want to go back. All right? Now, in the midst of all my partying, there was moments where I would just leave the party and, and go cry, drunk, by myself, because I knew I didn't want to be this guy anymore. But it's deeper than that. I didn't want to be my dad. Real quick about my dad, my dad was a raging alcoholic, abusive, uh, in and out of jail for as long as I can remember. And by the time I was in the third grade, I already knew that I didn't want to be my dad. And I was already saying things like, I'm not going to be my dad, I'm not going to be a drunk, I'm not going to treat women like my dad treated my mom. Okay, and that I'm gonna be the one to keep a family together. But here I am in my mid-20s, okay, I already have a serious drinking problem, I've been to jail, and I lost my family already, okay? Now, I would love to tell you for the sake of the story that I met Jesus in my jail cell, or that I passed out, woke up, and saw the light, but that's not how it happened. Uh, only reason, other than the divine plan of God, I came to church, was to impress a girl. Yeah. So, long story short, this girl would eventually break my heart. Uh, yeah. But, you know, I believe with all my heart that God not only used this girl to get me in the church, but he also used her to, to, to crush me. Because it was in that moment, in my desire to love and be loved, that he would reveal to me the greatest love. Okay, and as this girl broke up with me, I'm not going to lie, I didn't come to church seeking God. I came to church, this is where it gets kind of creepy. I came to church because I, I just wanted to see her. I had it that bad. Okay, but as I kept coming, as I kept showing up, God's word, his presence, his spirit just penetrated my heart. Okay, I look at that picture right there and I, I didn't just simply grow up. I was washed and cleansed by the blood of Jesus Christ. <laughs> peace with my dad. I forgive my dad. I can stand here and say I love my dad. Okay? I didn't immediately stop drinking, but right now I'm standing up here 15 months without a sip of alcohol. I don't even have a desire for it. Okay? And, and as far as the woman I am going, I will not touch a woman who is not my wife. Amen. And first opportunity I get, I will run like Joseph. <laughs> My, my daughter's mother, we're not together anymore, but I'll do anything for her because I owe her that. Okay. Um, 
I just want to say that no matter how shameful your past is, God can forgive you and use you. Yes. He's bigger than our past. Yes. 